Well, hi kids and hey families and welcome to Sadie and Corbin, to Emmett and Daniel, to Connor and Brandon, to Lucas and Gabe, and to Esty, to Thomas and Rosie and Charlie, and then to Abby and Hunter, and to Prairie and Ada, then to Benjamin and Clara and Tobias, to Sam and Chloe, to Eden and Dylan Rose, and then to Logan and Molly and Natalie, and to Georgia and Francis. A welcome to all of our kids, whether you're big or little, Thanks so much for joining us and watching this video. Great to see you. So, Auntie Jan is here and she's going to help Pastor Rick in figuring out today's lesson. Hello, Auntie Jan. Hi, how are you? Oh, good, thanks. Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, I would love to. Auntie Jan loves to try and get me to go for walks. And we do go for walks quite often. This is the first hint, going okay. for a long walk. Mm -hmm. And I have my walking poles, I have my walking shoes, I have right. my silly hat. I'm okay. already a long walk. Yeah, and usually we would bring things like a water bottle. And you know Jazzy loves to go for walks with us too. So a walk is our first hint, a, a long, long walk. walk. Okay. okay, our second hint is ah. when you're finished you might want to have a rest and sleep in your tent in your tent i thought maybe you're going to the circus no, that's a tent <laughs> a tent okay. so a tent and a long walk okay so the next tent is all those stars look, ah. up, look up and see all the stars that's true yeah, lots so of stars. lots of stars mm -hmm. a tent and a long walk okay and, and the last hint is a... Oh, look at that. A baby. A baby. Mm, can you think of a hint? A mm -hmm. Bible story that a goes... A Bible like a story? A walk, a tent, stars, and a baby. I, I think so. Boys and girls, you can talk it over with your family. Do you think that there's a story that has all of those elements in it? You know, Auntie Jan, I think I know a good story to go along with all of that. Boys and girls, listen for all of those clues as we talk about it. Now, uh, our story today is um, talking about how God builds a new nation. It's the story of Abraham. And we have been using um, the story for children, a um, storybook Bible, okay? And so I just want to read a couple of things from this as we get started. God builds a new nation. And it, this is coming out of Genesis chapter 12, Verse 2, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing to others. Remember last time we talked about Noah and the flood? Well, the earth recovered from the great flood. Noah's family grew and grew and grew. Once again, people were scattered over the face of the whole world. God's great and grand and glorious vision was still alive. He had plans to build a new nation, and it would all start with one ordinary man. And that man is Abraham. Now, at first he was called Abram. So one day, God spoke to Abram and he said, Abram, I have big plans for you. Abram, I'm going to bless you and make your name great. You're going to be a blessing to others. So I'm going to make you the father of a great nation. So God asked Abram, Abram to leave his country and his people and to go to a land that he would show them. Pick up everything and start walking. Okay, so walking, there's the first hint that we were talking about. And God said, eventually, Abram, I'll show you where to stop. Amazingly, Abram trusted God. He gathered the members of his household and they packed up all of their belongings and they started walking across the desert. Now, Abram had no idea exactly where he was going. <laughs> he didn't have any Google Maps. He didn't have a GPS. He couldn't ask Siri, you know, where is Canaan? No, all Abram had was just faith. So when he arrived in the land of Canaan, God said, Abram, you can stop walking now. This is the land that I'm going to give to you and all the people who come after you. So Abram and his wife Sarai pitched their tents and they settled in the land. Now many years passed, lots and lots and lots of years. And one cool dark night, God called to Abram in his tent. In his tent. 
And Abram, he said, come outside. And I want you to look up at the sky. Now, at night, boys and girls, if you look up at the sky, what do you think you'll see? Stars. Lots and lots and lots of stars. And God said to Abram, Abram, count the stars if you can count that high. So, boys and girls, I mean, if you look up at the stars, you can go like one, two, three, and then like 1,000, 1,001, and then 1 million and 1 million and 1, and oh my goodness. What's that number, Auntie Jan? A gazillion. A gazillion and one. So, next time you see the stars, boys and girls, you try and count them. Now, God said to Abram, I promise that you will have as many children as there are stars. Whoa, that's a lot of kids, okay? Now, did you know that God counts the stars and he calls them by name? Isn't that exciting? He calls them by name. Now, we know a lot about the big stars and things like that, but can you imagine that maybe there's a star called Sadie and a star called Corbin and a star called Lucas and a star called Gabe and Thomas and Rosie and Charlie and Emmett and Daniel and Connor and Brandon and Esty and, and um, Abby and Hunter and Prairie and Ada, Ada and Benjamin and Claire and Tobias and a star named Sam and a star named Chloe and Eden and Dylan Rose and Logan and Molly and Natalie and George and Francis. <laughs> That's a lot of stars. That's a lot of stars, but they're really important stars, you know that? Now, Abram believed God, and even though Abram was old, and even though Sarai was old and had never been pregnant, Abram still believed, he still had faith that God would make him into a great nation. So many, 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 many more years passed and Abram was now 99 years old and Sarai was 90. And again, God spoke to Abram and said, Abram, today I'm going to make a covenant with you. That's like an agreement. Covenant might be a new word for you, but that's an agreement between God and Abram. And he said, you're going to be the father of many nations. Your name is now going to be Abraham. And your wife's name, instead of being called Sarai, well, her name is going to be Sarah. And you know what? Soon, you're going to have a son. <laughs> Abraham was so surprised and so shocked by all of this, he fell on the ground laughing. And he said to himself, a great nation is going to come from me, but how? Sarah and I are way too old to have kids. But soon, Abraham and Sarah learned that nothing was too hard for God. And a year later, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. There's the baby. Boys and girls, all the hints that Auntie Jan gave to us, we've now gone through them all in our story. And Abraham named the boy Isaac. And you know what Isaac means? His name means to laugh. Now, when Isaac grew up, he married and he had two sons. One was named Esau, the other was named Jacob. And Esau had five sons and Jacob had 12 boys. Whoa, that's a big family. Abraham's children would multiply like the stars in the heavens, just like God had promised. Boys and girls, Abram had faith and he trusted God and he obeyed God and followed what God asked him to do. Amazing, kind of like Noah, you know? Now we're going to do a memory verse and our memory verse is Hebrews chapter 11, verse eight. Can you say that with us? Hebrews chapter 11, verse eight. And it says this, by faith, Abraham obeyed God and left his own country without knowing where he was going. By faith, Abraham obeyed God and left his own country without knowing where he was going. That's faith, boys and girls, and that's obedience. We can all learn from Abraham, can't we, Auntie Jan? Mm -hmm. Yep. So boys and girls, we're gonna say a prayer, and then Auntie Jan's gonna give us some resources, tell us about some crafts that we can do. Let's pray together. Father, help us to trust you and to remember that you will keep your promises to us just like you kept your promise to Abraham and to Sarah. Lord, we thank you that they um, had faith to believe. Help us to believe and to trust you as well. 
For we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Auntie Jan. Okay. So you have different videos you can watch. The one is God's story, Abram and Abraham and Sarah. And I think that's kind of the best one, but you can also watch Pursue God Kids, and yeah. that's Abraham, or Saddleback Kids, Abram and Abraham, father of many nations. There we go. Good. So those are all ideas for you. Now, a game that you could do is you could cut out a whole bunch of stars and then, like with mine, I have different colors on them, and then you can place them upside down and see if you can mix them all up and then do the memory game where you turn two over and try and find the match, and you could do that with two or three or however many you want. That sounds like a really but fun you game. you could do that. Or else you could just throw them all <laughs> up in the air and see if you can count them or how long it takes them to fall to the ground. But there then make you sure you help your mom and dad pick them pick up, up after. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, hmm. another fun game is make a tent in your house. Mm. I know we love making tents with our kids. Yep. So make some kind of a tent, or if you have a tent and you want to pitch outside, you can do that. And while you're sitting in the tent, Maybe think of all God's promises that he's given to you as a family. Or think about things that it says in God's word about how God is faithful. And you could even sit in a circle inside your tent and just have a family prayer. There you go. So yeah. that's an idea. Awesome. Now the song, we can't have this <laughs> lesson without the song, Father, Father Abraham. Abraham. So Father Abraham. Yeah, have have sons. Yep. And so we want to see all of you, including the parents, going right arm, left, left arm, arm, right foot, foot left, left foot, foot, chin up, turn around, around sit down, down and yeah. then <laughs> see how many of you can do it without losing your breath in that song. I know yeah. I was always like, when we finish that. It's so a good aerobic exercise. Yeah. It's yeah. a fun, fun song. So you can sing that song together. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. For a craft, just make take a piece of uh, construction paper and fold it over like a tent and you can mine looks like it has patches on it or whatever and you open it up <laughs> and inside of our tent. Yep. you can have Abraham and Sarah and the baby and I put like a little campfire outside of their tent there and you can't forget all the stars right. up in the sky yep. and if you go out as a family at night look at the stars and talk about how God knows each star by name and how he knows all of you by name too and yep. he loves you very much yeah, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Auntie Jan. Those are great um, craft ideas and resources. Boys and girls, like we do every week, take your hands and put them right out in front of you. Cross them over your chest and just give yourself a really tight squeeze. Boy, we sure miss you kids. Mm -hmm. And we love you lots and we want you to stay safe and to take care. We'll see you again next week, boys and girls. Stay safe, and, and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye, families, and goodbye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye-bye.